FAQ 1. What is the difference between verification and validation in manual testing? Verification is the process of checking whether the product meets the specifications or requirements, i.e., are we building the product right? It is a static testing process like code reviews or inspections. Validation, on the other hand, ensures that the final product meets the business needs and requirements, i.e., are we building the right product? It involves dynamic testing like executing test cases on the product. Q2. Can you explain method overriding in Java with an example? Method overriding occurs when a subclass provides a specific implementation of a method that is already defined in its superclass. The method in both classes must have the same name, return type, and parameters. Q3 What is the difference between hash map and linked hash map in Java? Hash map It doesn't maintain any order of the elements. It is efficient in terms of insertion and retrieval but does not guarantee any specific order. Linked hash map, it maintains the insertion order or access order, depending on the mode. So, the entries are returned in the order they were inserted. Q4 what are some different types of weights available in Selenium WebDriver? Implicit weight defines a global weight for a specific amount of time before throwing an exception if the element is not found. Explicit weight allows you to define specific conditions to wait for a particular element. Fluent weight, similar to explicit weight but allows you to set a polling interval and ignore specific exceptions. Q5, how can you handle dynamic web tables in Selenium? To handle dynamic web tables, you can identify the table first. Then loop through its rows and columns using SPATH or CSS selectors. Here is an example. Q6. How do you handle data-driven testing in TestNG? Data-driven testing in TestNG can be handled using the Add Data Provider annotation. This allows you to pass different sets of data to the same test method. In summary, you define a Add Data Provider method that returns a two-dimensional array of test data, and then annotate your test method with that test data provider equals data provider name, to use this data for your test execution. Q7. How do you implement parameterization in Cucumber? Parameterization in Cucumber can be done using placeholders in feature files. You define variables in the feature file, and those values are passed to step definitions. Scenario outline and examples are used to define parameterized scenarios in the feature file. String in the step definitions matches the parameterized values in the scenario. Q8. Can you explain the page object model, POM, framework? The page object model, POM is a design pattern in Selenium where each web page in the application is represented as a class. 
the class contains web elements as variables and methods to interact with these elements. Q9. How do you handle changes in requirements in an agile environment? In an agile environment, changes are expected and welcomed. We handle changes by accommodating them into the next sprint or adjusting the current sprint backlog if feasible. Regular communication with the product owner and stakeholders helps prioritize changes, ensuring the team adapts efficiently while maintaining the product's quality and timelines.